Today we're going to be looking at a scenario where Sweden forms an empire. This is going to be just like the empire that they had back in the 1700s or the 1600s or whatever. I don't feel like researching it. And anyway, let's just get started immediately. Also, thank you for like the blowing up of the last video. I did not expect that. I expected it to like be another boring old video. Thank you for that. Anyway, let's get started. So the first thing they do to re-begin re their empire is they invade Denmark. You know the, is it really tensions or, yeah, I think it's tensions between um, Sweden and Denmark over the past few years. So here we go. Sweden makes a, I'm not even, no. Sweden makes a landing on the uh, the island where Copenhagen lies, capturing the whole island. Capturing the whole. Why do I keep doing this to myself? And they end up capturing the whole island, which takes Denmark's capital, and that and they are forced to surrender. Now Sweden is big. Oh yeah, I forgot about Greenland. I don't feel like coloring that in right now. So yeah, that's that. Then, then they send an ultimatum to Norway, just saying, join us or you'll be invaded by a big army and your mountains won't help because I'm used to mountains and cold. So they are, for so they are forced to get surrender to the Swedish Empire. Also, this is a monarchy, not like some sort of democratic, like, thing. Like a democratic empire. Just like, they put empire in their name because they're big. This, this is a monarchy. Well, <laughs> I'm being dumb. Sweden is already a mar monarchy. What am I talking about? Okay, so, back to the video. After this, this angers Finland, and Finland declares war on Sweden. Not a good move, Finland. So after the gathering of... Okay, first let's start off with... Finnish troops, after mobilizing on the Swedish border, begin to pu push out from their panhandle area and their other areas. But after the Swedish ar army mobilized, they begin their, their full-scale invasion into Finland. Taking, retaking back all their land, creating a massive front, creating a massive front line. This front line is pushed by the Swedish, as a Swedish, as Swedish naval ships next to go, going to Elan begin to redirect over to Finland. They make they make a huge landing and they push over to Helsinki, capturing the city. And after this, Finland surrenders. And this is uh, kind of just a new Nordic Empire, honestly. So, Sweden renames himself from the Swedish Empire to Second Swedish Empire to the Nordic Empire. Also, since Estonia want into Nordic, they join the empire because they want to into Nordic. Yes. Oh yeah, they also invade Iceland. This invasion is pretty swift as Iceland, I mean, they don't have a good army, but they, I don't know. They just, they they do push in though, and Iceland does make a counteroffensive in the north, and they manage to take back this little thingy. But after the Swedish army fully mobilized, they, they just get destroyed in combat. And they begin to stop. They mass recruit in their army so they can take out the Baltics as well. So, a pretty uh, confident move. They declare war on Latvia and Lithuania. Also, NATO and the EU don't exist at all. They're just non-existent. So, 
After they had already mobilized on the Lavian border, they, they make a push over to Riga. They capture it. And uh, Estonia is happy about this because they think that they did a good job joining the empire. Oh, oh yeah, Latvia also died. And uh, they make a push down into uh, down into Lithuania and cut them off and cut them off from each other. And this side just re this side surrenders as the Lithuanians on this side continue to fight. They make a small counteroffensive, but it's qu quickly cleared up, and they get destroyed. And that's another, uh, and that's another part of the Nordic Empire be being integrated into the Nordic Empire. They give a deal to Russia, this this big guy, to buy Kaliningrad for for four point five billion. They say yes, even though it is very strategic, and they could use. And it could help in the war with Ukraine. It, sorry about that burp. Excuse me. Um, it could help out even with like the bombings if they ever got into a war with Europe. Why is there just a random erase mark? Whatever. I, I'm just noticing that. I, forgot, I also forgot to color in Svalbard. So just let me color in Svalbard. Let me color in Svalbard. Svalbard really quick and my thing decided that it wants to overflow there's Svalbard is now colored in because it's a part of Norway that I forgot to color in and this is a pretty big Nordic Empire but they are not done yet they begin mass mobilization on the Belarusian border huge mobilization Sisto does not exist so Belarus will not getting will not be getting any help from Armenia, um, Russia, Kazakhstan, all those system members. They'll just be on their own. So they declare war on Belarus, and Belarus, after seeing this mobilization, had al already mobilized their own troops and made a small push over into Kaliningrad, capturing all of Kaliningrad. They put they push into the previous Lithuania, but since the the Nordics had already mobilized before, they pushed they pushed them all the way back out of their lands, and they continue their huge devastating push into Belarus. They capture Minsk, Minsk, which I think is right there, and they end up cutting a lot of the Belarusian army over here. Belar Belarusian just sounds funny. Um, they they encircle a large army over here in the west, and the east is cut off from their supply line, which is here. And Belarus just surrenders because they're like, I can't do this, and they get annexed. And uh, Sweden has reformed. Not, well, not reformed, more like formed Nordica. And, um, we are also not done yet because I got a lot of comments saying that I should, um, do longer. Well, I didn't get a lot of comments. I just, I want to do a longer one. I don't know. Maybe it would be more enjoyable. Uh, yeah. Sorry for that long pause. Uh, I'm just thinking about who should, who could they invade here? If they invade Ukraine, Russia's definitely going to attack. Why not? So, they declare war on Ukraine, which, uh, obviously drags Ruski into the war. I don't feel like coloring these islands. And to start off with a, a mass, this just looks like the Russian invasion of Ukraine right now. So basically, um, Russian, uh, Nordic, Swedish, Finnish, Nor Norwegian troops begin to enter 
into um, Ukraine, uh, Sunflower Land. Also, Transnistria joins the war, which is an unrecognized state in Moldova, if you didn't know. Just in case you didn't know, don't get mad at me for reminding people who already did know. I think that's Transnistria, I'm not sure. I know it's there, though. And Transnistria, with their small army, begins to push into, um, into Ukraine, cutting off their little, uh, panhandle thingy. But, Ukrainian forces begin to storm into the area. They take back their panhandle thingy. They even make, manage to take out Crimea. They also make a full-on push into Transnistria, liberating it. And when the, they made a meeting with Moldova saying they would give this back after the war is over. But with this pushback of Transnistria, um, Nordic and Russian troops were quickly advancing along the front lines in the north, the east, and the northeast, and the northwest. Pretty much everywhere other than the southwest. So, with Kiev captured already, Kiev's like right there, they surrender because, like, I don't know what to do without that land right there. So, they just for now occupy Trans occupy, occupy Transnistria because, uh, you know, I'm just gonna draw the border now that I've got the tool open right now so Russia gets all their Navarrosian lands and stuff that's Navarrosian I'm pretty sure and uh uh the Nordics get this and this is a pretty big Nordic Empire I mean it's not small definitely not small this is, on a map you can see it, like on a world map scale. I'm, I'm gonna show you in a second, once I finish uh, doing this. Let me just... Mm -hmm. Look, this is not a small... Um, here, let me not color rush on real quick. Just say that it's occupied by Russia, because I don't feel like drawing it yet. So, this is all Nordica. This is pretty big. It's not small at all, for sure. Definitely not. And if it is small to you, then I don't know what empire you held. Because that, that empire that you held must have been pretty thick if it's uh, bigger than this. Flashbacks to Soviet Union and Russian empires. And British empires. So, yeah. That's pretty much all that they get. For now. For now. Because they decide to invade Moldova. Why not? So if the, they just surrender immediately. Like they're 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 just like, we have no chance at all. Why are we even why are we still here? I'm not gonna torture you guys with that. Cause I know a bunch of people are gonna get mad at me. Not mad at me, just like, why? Okay, so now Basarbia, all of Basarbia has been taken by Basarbia, Basarbia, whatever, has been taken. Now here's a little, uh, n not so Nordic war, it's like a, it's a different war that's going on not next to them. So basically, Germany sends a full uh, an ultimatum for all this land. And Poland says no. And then uh, they get partitioned. So basically, since Poland is getting attacked on two sides, like in World War II, uh, they get kind of rolled over because, like, they keep sending troops 
to other sides when they make their offensives. So it just makes it kind of easy for uh, Germany and and the Nordics to just roll over through Poland. They do make slight counteroffensives, and like, yeah. But who said that they were getting partitioned on the same side? Wink, wink. So the Nordics begin to invade from Poland. I didn't mean to color that. The Nordics begin to invade the Polish territory as well as invading Denmark, which takes Schleswig Holstein, I'm pretty sure is what it's called. And they begin to slow down just a little bit because they're starting to run out of resources and the Germans are beginning to mobilize. And the Germans managed to make a push back into Schleswig Holstein. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Correct me if you need to in the comments. And um yeah, it's slowed down and a counteroffensive is made in the south. And this distracts all pretty much all the Nordic troops to push to push here in the south while the Germans begin to push up north taking Kaliningrad, a land that they used to have. And um, they tell France, hey, I forgot that Switzerland was going to get colored. Hey, we want this, Alsace-Lorraine. We want Alsace-Lorraine. And France is like, how about no? And Germany's like, okay, I can't afford a war with you right now. So they don't go to war. Simple as that. Also, I did accidentally undid this. Oh yeah, I forgot. They pushed it up into Denmark. They took Copenhagen, which was like the second major city in this empire other than Stockholm. And um, Tallinn was like the third because they wanted to unite. It's like their second capital, basically. And um, they decide, hey, stop fighting. Peace treaty time. Peace treaty time. My size isn't working. Now it is. And I forgot to turn off Rico. So basically, Germany takes all the all the German Prussian, whatever, German Empire lands from when they had it and stuff. So they pretty much just take all this. They also enter an alliance with the Nordics just to be safe. Yes, classic German move. Well, not classic German move. German move, yeah, that's it. So they enter an alliance with Germany after the peace treaty is signed. And this was the Treaty of Stockholm. It looked like this. Obviously Switzerland is not a part of Germany. But you get the point. So they basically just formed the Greater Weimar Republic. So, and they're still democratic. They're still democratic. Obviously the Nordic Empire is an empire, so it's a mo an, an absolute monarchy or just a monarchy, depending on what you call an empire. This honestly looks like Poland, Lithuania, just sitting right here. So that's cool. Um, and yeah, they basically just formed Poland, Lithuania with the Nordics and Greenland and Iceland and Svalbard and all that, and all that fun stuff. Also, this is not a part of them anymore. The treaty did not say that they get this. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. I don't feel like drawing the border with Switzerland. I meant to make that dark red. And, uh, yeah. Thanks, Aedis Pro, for making videos and inspiring me to do videos. Anyway, guys. Bye!